Providing quality child care can be a big challenge for single parents and even working couples. It's an even bigger issue if you need it in off hours or on short notice. Just try to advance a career, yet turn down every event that could offer a chance to build your network or grow professionally. Well, two entrepreneurs right here in our region found themselves in that position and decided to do something about it. They've created a company called Flexible to connect parents and caregivers, especially at the last minute. Priya Amin is co-founder of Flexible. Welcome, good to have you here. Thanks, Bill. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, so this is a cool idea. What is Flexible all about? Yeah, so I think you did a great job um, introducing it. Flexible started as a platform to help parents and caregivers connect, but it's evolved since then, and what we do now is we provide childcare on site at offices, conferences, networking events, and even special events like weddings. Okay, so how, and what was your journey? How, what, what gave you the idea to create a company like this? Well, I think a lot of parents go through the same journey when you have kids you have to find childcare and I worked full-time for years in marketing and I left my career to be a stay-at-home mom when I started to um, go back to work I found that childcare finding childcare was incredibly difficult because you can't find it exactly when you need it and you can't find it on a flexible schedule hmm. and so my co-founder Jessica Strong and I we met about two years ago and we saw that we had the same problem and we applied to the Alpha Lab accelerator program in East Liberty with the notion of creating a platform to help parents find on-demand childcare. We were accepted and we started down the path of creating Flexible. And what we figured out really quickly was parents need last-minute childcare. Caregivers are looking for meaningful work. Hmm. But there's an opportunity to connect them in a better way. And the way to do that is by bringing them together where the parent is going. So for example, parents were trying to find childcare to go to work, to go to networking an event, or to maybe even go to a wedding, let's say. Especially if we brought childcare to where parents are going. So you're taking it to them. This yes. is not parent is going here, there happens to be childcare somewhere nearby, you drop them off on the way. Exactly. You're going to deliver the childcare right to the event or the place where they need it. Exactly. We do location-based pop-up childcare. If you think about it, Giant Eagle has a service called the Eagle's Nest, where you can walk into the store, drop your child off, and go grocery I shopping. I know it well. We used it when our kids were young. Exactly. Absolutely. I yeah. do too. <laughs> and we're basically following the same model. We do location-based pop-up childcare where the, ch the parent and the child are on site. What that allows is for our insurance and our liability to cover the child as well as the um, location where child care is being provided, but it lowers barriers for companies who've wanted to provide child care, for example, for their employees or for their attendees at events. Now they can because we're bringing everything with us. We have the insurance and liability covered, we have vetted all of our caregivers, and we bring all of our own supplies. We bring games, toys, crafts, whatever you need to keep a child entertained, we bring it with us. And so you're dealing with professionals who really know how to take good care of kids while they're in this sort of a setting? Yeah. Exactly. So we, we carefully vet all of our caregivers they, with background checks and making sure that they have child care experience. They also attend several events before they come on full time as well. And so somebody's planning a wedding or, or maybe it's a big networking event for a Chamber of Commerce type organization. They would hire you to do this and then this would become just a service that's provided for the attendees at their event. That's exactly it. We do not only one off events, Bill, but we also have started partnering with companies and entities across Pittsburgh also. Hmm. And so how how has it been going? You've been at this now for about a year and a half, right, since you started down this journey. Where are you in the process of developing the business? Yeah, so we um, formed our LLC last summer, but we just started providing pop-up childcare in July. So it's been seven or eight months now, and that was back in 2017 when we started. And it's been fantastic. We've done almost 100 events where we've done childcare on site. We started partnering with numerous companies, both for-profit and non-profit, and we're starting to work with entities like the City of Pittsburgh. Um, we did two pilots with the city of Pittsburgh to provide child care for city employees on those days when schools closed, but work isn't. Okay, another big issue. Well, and I, I would assume if you can get this figured out here, there's a lot of growth potential for this concept. Exactly, Bill. And we've started seeing other cities come to us and say, hey, how can we bring this to other places around the country? And so we are looking to expand rapidly, especially this year and going into 2019. Really exciting. The company's called Flexible. How do people find out about you? and then uh, take advantage of this. Yeah, so you can find us online at FlexibleCare.com. That's Flexible with an A. And we're also on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. All right, really good stuff. Terrific. Uh, we're talking about filling a need. That's terrific.
uh, Priyamin from Flexible. Thanks so much. Thanks, Bill. I appreciate it. Yeah. Next up, you can be sure that Westinghouse retirees always bleed Westinghouse blue and never lose their appetite for community service. We'll find out how they're giving back through Westinghouse Shore and our region's business returns. Stay with us.